Hello, you guys, and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I'm Lorianne, and we're going to take a look at love. So it's something I'm bringing back for you. I did it in the first three years, and then I took a break. I needed to take a break from it, and I think a lot of us actually did while we're going through our own ascension. So we're going to do a general reading every single Friday, and then at the end, I will bring in each zodiac sign and add to it for that specific sign. And I will post the extended portion in our membership community so you guys can watch it in there. But that way, everybody gets a little something, something. And for those of you who join my membership, I love you. I thank you for your true support. And that's what helps me keep bringing these videos back to you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look overall. And we're going to call it actually You and Them. All right. So every Friday, we're going to be looking at You and Them. Now, some of you are in a relationship. Some of you are getting ready to meet somebody. And some of you are like, Lorianne, I don't even want to hear about a relationship. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. But remember, love comes in when we're not looking for it. It may be from somebody you already know. It may be your current partner. And it could be something else. So we're just going to take a look at you and them. Whatever is going on in your life. So we're going to start with you, all right? This is a general reading. We're going to look at your end. We'll look at the other end, and we'll keep going. So welcome, welcome, you guys. I hope you are doing well. Please remember on March, oops, March 10th is the new series, Aquarius Rises, and it's all about the age of Aquarius. So it's not about the zodiac sign of Aquarius. It's Aquarius Rises for the age of Aquarius. Look what we're starting off with. Some of you do want love. And and through this journey of ascension, a lot of you have gone through your own transformation. You probably felt and recognize now, or you will be, okay, you will be. But we go through all the stages of grief. And if you are in my soul community, the soul's live section of my membership, you'll see that I have the whole journey in there uh, for you guys. And please take advantage of that because it is it is a heck of a ride. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is a heck of a ride. And it's one that we are all going through. Whether we got triggered by a twin flame, a soulmate, a soul connection, even our work environment. And some people got triggered by the worldwide events. But right now this is saying absolutely. So you may be having Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your chart for whoever this is. But this is about the emotional you. Being emotional, being ready. Your cup is standing out there saying, you know, I'm ready for love. And even if we don't think so, because look very closely at this card. There's a lot of cloudiness in the background, a lot of a dreary in the, in, the, in the background behind her. That's saying that you have gone through a lot. When you look at the card itself, it's saying you've been through a lot. And now you're feeling like you're ready. I have everything I need, just a little bit more love. But let's keep going, all right. So it could be you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It may be somebody that you're dealing with, but for a lot of you, it is absolutely that time where you're feeling like, yeah, I want victory. We have the card of judgment. And the card of judgment is reviewing everything that's going on in your life. And I'm just going to pour these cards out and I'm going to let you know whatever I'm guided to tell you as I go forward. I see it, hear it, feel it, know it, and we're going to bring it into this reading. So... The judgment card, some of you very well may be hearing from your twin flame. 2022, a lot of people who were triggered into the journey by another person, whether it was romance or a family person that you love, a child, anybody, okay, you're going to be reconciling differences, whether it's of the mind, of your, uh, in the mental, the emotional, or even in the physical realm. So some of you are thinking about them, you're thinking about them, and you're having a lot of struggles when it comes to this person. You've got the five of wands here, and that's talking about internal struggle, but you might even be quarreling with other people. For some of you, I actually see that you are, you're a little bit bitter when it comes to love. You're not quite there yet, but you will be. As we roll into July and August, you're going to be feeling more open to everything that's going on. Now, you may have been dealing with a king of wands, all right, because that's who came out. And this may very well be the person who's coming back in or your existing partner for some of you. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius individual. Now, 
the thing about this particular individual, the King of Wands, they're very charming. They're very charismatic. So when they talk to you, they can be seductive in the way that they speak. Their mannerisms, everything about them just says, come here, come here. And we can't find ourselves to, to break free. So there's a really deep um, attraction to this individual, whoever this person is. So when you guys are looking at this, this is going to be a very challenging situation. And that's why the Five of Wands is there. Let's take a look at whoever you're dealing with. And I'll pull additional cards as we go. And then again, I will look at each individual sign. So this is an example uh, for each and every zodiac sign every Friday. And then we're going to keep going. As I said, I'll show you at the end uh, what I will offer in the membership community. Now, we have the Seven of Wands. So whoever you were dealing with was a little bit conniving. And they may have uh, betrayed you through their words. And, well, yeah, I know it's deception. They tricked you. Some of you, you, whoever you're dealing with or were dealing with in the past, because judgment's here, so this is something you dealt with. So whoever this person was, they tricked you, and it had something to do with your finances. They may have tricked you into taking a job, into taking your money, but I'm going to pull more detail. They could have earth in their chart, and although um, I don't feel that it's actually their full sun sign, the sign they were born under, I feel that they had a lot of security around them. For a lot of you, this was in a work environment where they tricked you in a work environment. They may have taken your promotion away from you, okay, um, and got you to be their friend, buddy, buddy, but let's take a look. One thing's for certain, we have the Four of Swords here, and whoever this person was, Whatever they did, they were going through a heartbreak. So they were most likely a little bit underlying energy of anger, underlying energy of blame, misplaced blame. Um, even talking a lot about their ex-partner for some of you. And it left them in this period of feeling like they needed to go forward, but yet they, did, they weren't ready, right? They weren't ready. And when we're not ready, we will do stuff like that. So I feel the deception was more of misplaced blame and misplaced anger. Now we have the Page of Cups. So this person is going to come in and they are going to offer you an apology. Now, if you are in a spiritual relationship, if it was with a spiritual connection, you may hear the words, I'm sorry, without the person being anywhere near. Okay, it is incredible. Those are some of the things we're going to talk about in the Aquarius Rises. But in this reading, we're talking about love. So this was a situation where the two of you did not um, work things out. It was left you feeling abandoned. Okay, now it can be vice versa. It is a general reading. You may have done that to them. But for a lot of you, I feel this is you. And it's after this period of loneliness that you go through before the two of you are reconciling and that's the point you may actually be there so when it comes to this individual we're going to pull more cards to see if they are really on the up and up but i want to pull um the detail here and see now i want to pull original card they said and we're going to pull it on your partner okay whoever you were dealing with and then i'll pull it back on on your end we're going to go back and forth so you have to stay with me and keep you alert that's good that's what they do to me when I hear it, see it, feel it, know it, right? I have to be alert. They're going to communicate these words to you, and it's going to be very clear and specific. You're going to have to really tap into your internal wisdom, and you're already feeling it. I can feel it in my heart chakra right here. They're going to captivate your heart again. Whatever story they're sharing with you is going to be deeply felt by you. You're going to understand what the apology is really about. Whether it is in person or whether it is this little story that you have going on in your head where it, this time, will not leave you feeling like you are going cuckoo crazy. This time, the telepathic communication will make sense to you and you will know the difference between it being your own inner thinking, like dream state, right? or if it was actual telepathic communication, because there is a difference. We have this 
Prince of Pentacles, and that's because it took a really long time for this person to come around. For some of you, it was um, two to three years, but I'm seeing eight. Eight years is very big deal. Those of you who have been away from this person for eight years, you probably have been single that entire time for eight years, and it's been a really rough time. Like, it's been really challenging everything that you went through because I feel they took your money. I feel they took your security away from you, whether that be your home, if you were married, or like I said, in a job where they took your uh, promotion. There was some time of, of monetary loss with this individual. And that's what keeps you in this um, um, inner battling, inner battling in your head is what I'm hearing, struggles. You are ready to move forward. You are ready to move into a brand new phase. Let me see if I can get that screen a little bit darker or lighter <laughs> or darker so that it doesn't glare in our face here on the, on camera. We have the, the chariot and this is getting in your vehicle and it's driving forward. Whether the vehicle be your entire life and moving into a new path or just down the street, we have the gold and silver. That's representing the divine masculine and the divine feminine inside of you so that you are in complete harmonic balance when this happens. You may be driving down the street, literally, and you'll hear them talking to you in your head. And I feel for some of you, you're going to actually pull off the side of the road because you're going to want to listen, right? So you don't want to drive while you're doing that. It's not a good idea. Here it is. It's this one. And we have the star card. All right. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And then we have the underlying energies of the air sign as well. And, and we have all, all of them. We have the King of Wands here too, right? This is somebody who really was drawn to you. The two of you communicated really well in the beginning. And then there was that underlying feeling like, hmm, hmm. Because I feel that they were chatting with other people. Whether that, it, it's a social setting is what I'm seeing. It's a social setting. And they were chatting with other people and I don't feel, again, that it was like, I don't feel it was actual manipulation. I feel it's whatever they were going through at the time. Now, I'm going to pull one more card to see what this says when I'm talking about that scenario. Yeah, we've got the Nine of Wands. So they were going through a lot, right? And that's what I said in the beginning of this reading. My cards follow whatever I'm saying. So with this, this is this uh, moment for them to return. In the healing process, we have to get that closure. It doesn't matter how long it is. You may have reconciled it inside of you, but they have to do it too. So it's a two-way street. So while you were sending off that telepathic communication, while you were chewing them out or whatever it was that you were doing, they also are going to do the same thing. You've healed and you've grown and you really are moving forward. But there's that longing with holding your cup out. And it's like, I really am ready to have love. And this is the wish that you've been wanting. The right person for you. And here they come. And that's what happens in this journey. When we are ready, they will come back. When we've gone through our healing, that divine partner of yours will return. The job that let you go, they will return. Even if it's on Facebook or, you know, some other social media, YouTube, in a live chat on my show, right? They will return. And that is what's going on in this scenario. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at each zodiac sign, but I'm going to pull one romance card, and then we're going to look at specific zodiac signs and see what's really going on for each one. So let's take a look at the overall message because this is a soul, it's a deep connection. So whether you feel it was a soul made as a twin flame that you were dealing with, or it was the love of your life, I feel that is what happened in this situation. But they hadn't healed. Whether that's the eight years where they were apart from that relationship for eight years, and you two have been apart for two to three, or vice versa, they did not heal. They never healed. And it is a divine 
relationship. This is a soul connection on a deep level where the two of you are going to resume whatever it is that you want it to be because you're going to have the choice. They not only are coming in with a deep, sincere apology, they're going to come in with the words, I do love you and I want to start over. I want to start new. So if this is your current partner, this is worth waiting for. No matter how much you've been through, no matter how exhausted you were, they are in that position right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sign of Taurus. Let me see what time it is so I can mark these for you guys. 1537. So we're going to look at the beautiful sign of Taurus and we're going to see what's going on in your particular arena. Whoever this person was, and <clears throat> when it comes to this situation, there was a deep amount of regret on their part. You may have felt it when you were going through your own healing, Torres. You may have felt it deeply, but I feel you felt it in your feet. I know that sounds really weird. <laughs> so earth signs, you know, you're connected to the ground underneath us. You're connected to the through the feet, through the lower half of the body. Imagine you standing on the ground and that's your security. They had an attachment to the web of you your entire security, monetary value. It may have taken everything around you in your home, anything you view as secure. So it would make sense that it would hurt your feet, right? And we have the Four of Pentacles. This situation has been blocked for quite some time, and it was a really big struggle. Whoever this individual was, they now are going through exactly what you did, like I said in the beginning. So let's see a little bit further on what they want you to know, my dear. Now, you have the King of Swords, so you may have been dealing with that air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But you were dealing with somebody who was a leader. They may have been a manager in your company, and they may have been your partner, where the two of you actually were in your relationship. They were a little bit out of balance. They were held up here, and you were held down here, vice versa, okay? But this King of Swords is an excellent communicator. If you heard me say that in the beginning part of this reading, they were excellent at communicating. So Taurus, this is your moment to actually heal this situation, gain the closure that you need from this individual, because it is way past due, and it'll finalize your end of the process. And if you are wanting this person to come back, you're going to want to do that um, in order to get them back into everything back into balance. <laughs> so with this uh, Six of Swords, they had to put themselves back into order, Taurus, in order to come back in and speak the truth. And this is the thing, whatever the lies and deception were, they're starting brand new. They're starting in a more mature way. They may have been very immature in the past, but not now, not now. They are not going to be that way. So let's take a look at our beautiful Virgo and see what is going on for you. And like I said, this is a quick glance at uh, whatever is coming in for you guys. Each and every week, we're going to do this. All right. Virgo, I feel that this was a deep, connected relationship, but I feel you were in a real relationship with them. I don't feel it was like a meeting and then a trigger and you both parted ways. Now, if it was, then that is confirming 110% that it was a soul connection where you felt like you've known them your entire life. All right, let's take a look at you. We're going to look at the other person and then we'll pull a little bit more detail for you, Virgo. If I call you a different name, just hear me. And you are Virgo. Okay, you are a beautiful sign of Virgo. We have the Five of Swords. That's a lot of arguing, 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 quarreling. This is inner struggles when it comes to this relationship. And some of you might now be saying, uh-uh, I ain't even going to talk to that person. And nobody says you have to. Okay, you don't have to. The reconciling is within. It is the divine feminine, the divine masculine internally, where you will get the closure that you need over the next uh, two weeks for a lot of you. This is going to come in the next two week period of time. They may have treated you like you were, uh, you know, like uh, they blew you up. And what I mean by that is when you would go to say, say you were having a debate 
in a nice little friendly debate that, that a king of swords or any air sign would love to do. And this is an air sign energy, right? So whoever this air sign was, or they had air in their chart, maybe you met them in an air sign uh, month. They love to debate. They love to do the back and forth bantering. But when you're dealing with somebody like this, who is toxic as all get out, <clears throat> they will come in and they will blow you up before you ever get a chance to say, hey, it's my turn. You can't even get those words out. They're like, boom. All right. These are people who are very manipulative people. And they're like, I'm going to cut you off so you can't win because they want to win at all costs. And I feel that's what you were dealing with. So when we're looking at that Prince of Pentacles that came out, this is absolutely saying, yeah, they are. It took them a long time because it takes somebody like that a very long time to heal and move forward. They, they just can't see it for quite some time, right? But with this energy comes sincerity. It is real, 100%. There you go, the Ace of Swords. That's what fell on the floor. So when they come back or when you're talking to your partner, whichever this is for you. Now, when I go into depth on Fridays, I'll, I'll, I'll consider doing singles and, and couples. Uh, but this is a general for each and every one of you. This is clear communication. This is the truth. This is what you've been waiting for, which confirms the beginning part of this uh, whole, whole reading right here, Virgo. Now, I feel there was something hidden in the lurks, hidden in the lurks, and that has to do with that Seven of Swords, Virgo, where they didn't tell you everything because they didn't want you to know their secret. Although the moon is hiding behind that Seven of Swords, you see? The moon is hiding back there. So I feel there was something they didn't tell you, and now they're going to tell you. They're coming in to tell you. The six comes right after the five of swords, so they had to go through a lot. They had to pull out some deep, heavy, heavy, heavy swords in order to come in and first to see it, and then to come in and share this with you. So you do have that moment of return where you yourself, Virgo, are going to make a final decision. So we're going to take a look at our beautiful Capricorn. Oops. Hello, Capricorn, specifically for our Capricorn babies. And let's see what's going on with you. You know, I keep hearing, Capricorn, that you've got the fight in you. You've got the fight in you. Now, that doesn't mean fist fight, <laughs> okay? I feel it's more like I'm ready to fight for what I want. I'm ready to defend my honor. You've got the nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Whatever took place, I feel you're ready to fight to move past it. So if you are in a relationship, you're going to you're going to do whatever you can to make this relationship work. By the way, the number I wrote down for you is 2229. And those numbers are very very important. 222 and 9 is almost your completion time, and that's what this reading is talking about an act of completion that's going to put you in a brand new beginning. You will get your security back. You will feel secure and whole again through this whole entire situation. You yourself are capable of doing that. And some of you may have very well done that. But I'm willing to fight for it. I want to fight for it. You might be even going through a divorce where you want to fight to get your... Uh, fair share. <laughs> That's what I heard. Your fair share. Yeah, I hear it like that. I have to decipher it. So I do look a little weird, but let's keep going, you know, when I do these readings, but let's keep going. All right. Mm. Yeah, I feel they were a little snaky, snaky. There was something about them that was like, um, like I said, like they were hiding something. We have the fool card right here. And this is like taking a leap of faith. They're going to come in. They're going to take a leap of faith. They're going to offer you an apology that is way overdue, very, very sincere. But with this, it's going to take a lot of courage for them to do it because I feel they did a number here. Okay, they did a number on you. Whether that be taking your monetary value or taking the relationship and actually uh, mm, betraying you. Okay, it's a form of betrayal, whatever form of betrayal it is. Now let's pull just a wee bit more information here, Cap. You're going to have to look at this situation from all angles, and that makes sense, right? 
So right now you're looking at it this way where you're you're upright and you're saying, okay, I'll take a look at this. But, oh, oops, sorry, I got it backwards. You may have been looking at it at the wrong angle. There may have been a different angle here. And what I mean by that is if you saw your partner talking, let's just say uh, they were talking to somebody that looked like they were attracted to them and they were talking to them, it looked like they were flirting. You saw it. You can't deny that you saw it, but yet you may have been seeing it from a different angle at that time. So when they come in and they explain what happened, for those of you particularly that's been two, three years, I feel this escalated into a really big uh, argument. But it sounds so petty, but yet I feel it was deeply felt by both of you. And that wasn't the true meaning, okay? That wasn't really what you were fighting about. You were fighting about something very different, but that was the, um, the straw that broke the camel's back, right? So now you're going to be clearing this up and then you will be moving forward, Capricorn. So on to the beautiful sign of Aries. Hello, Aries. I hope you guys are well. Let's take a look at your energy. Because, you know, whoever this person is, Aries, and we do have you on the bottom of the deck, which was nice to see that. So it's confirming that we are definitely looking at a group of our beautiful Aries individual. Whoever this person was, they really have been through a lot. And I, I, I feel that they may have even been through a little bit more than you have. Now, Aries, I know you've been really just putting yourself out there. The majority of you, at least my subscribers, I know you have. I hope you subscribe to my channel. But you've really been putting yourself out there to reinvent the wheel around you. As the world is changing, which is what we're talking about in the Age of Aquarius Live, that's on March 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, what, what you've been through is what they are going through now, right? So... Through this process, you saw yourself going through changes that you never thought you would ever go through, right? They are too. They're seeing it as well. They may have come in and out of your life, Aries. They may have been in and out or vice versa. Remember, this is a general reading. So Aries with this, they may have been a little bit of a player. But what I really feel this is talking about is it's time for you to get on your horse and move forward. To be knightly and victorious, okay, whether you're male or female, it's a general reading. To be that, that powerful you and take action in your life. And once you do, that's when all of this is going to clear out. Now for this group of you, I'm seeing the number six, okay, so that could have been six years ago. Um, it may have been six months ago that the two of you parted ways. It may have been a result of the changes that you to you or they were going through through all of the journey in life. But um, six is part of it. We have the magician here. Okay, They're, they may have been a master manipulator. All right, a player, somebody who came in and they hurt you deeply. This is not an easy feat to get over. And unless you've lived this experience, it isn't really understood by people unless they've been through it. Because of the, um, the way that the manipulator can come in and twist your thinking and make you see things that aren't really there. Um, and I do feel this person is actually going to show up. <coughs> is actually going to show up. I feel that you're going to bump into them on the street. You're going to, uh, it's in person. I feel it's going to be in person. That doesn't mean look over your shoulder. Please don't do that. You keep going forward and you keep living your life. All right. But when it comes to this heaviness that's around them, you're going to know if they are really worth waiting for. Because if they've done their work, they will be completely transformed. Now we have the emperor here. All right. Now this can go two ways. All right. It does represent the zodiac sign of Aries, right? So it is encompassing you. You might be very stubborn, but I feel we're talking about a person, whoever you were dealing with, that they were very stuck and stubborn. They wanted it their way, and if they didn't get it their way, they moved on. Or they did it their way and they didn't care. You know, It's like they didn't care if they hurt you. 
very stuck and stubborn individual, somebody who's used to doing it a certain way, and they know how to manipulate another individual. That's not an easy feat, for sure. <clears throat> it is definitely not. That is a hard uh, thing to handle. But when you get on your horse and you move forward, you say, you know, I'm going to put my foot back in the water. I feel good. I look good. I'm getting on my horse, and I'm going to take action in my love life because you are represented by the Queen of Cups. And that is saying, I built everything. I'm ready. The final thing I need now is love. A little bit of loneliness, a little bit of longing. And they will come forward. But I feel you're going to meet them on a street, walking down the street. Whether they're having coffee or you are, there is a little uh, cafe outside where people are sitting out there. And I feel it'll be like a morning, like a brunch time, time of day. Um, that's the way it looks in this vision. You're going to know exactly what to do at that moment in time. All right, so on to our beautiful zodiac sign of Leo. Hello, Leos. Our beautiful lions. All right, you're a little worn out. If it isn't you, it's definitely them. But I feel for you guys, you know, there's this uh, fiery energy coming back in which is your sign right you are a fire sign you love passion you love excitement you love to travel you like this new stuff coming in that just whether it's brand new or revised it's like you want to feel alive in everything that you're doing and this person is definitely a charmer around you so <clears throat> let's look a little bit further at you because that's what I'm seeing. You're ready. You are ready to do something different. Let's see what it is. We have the Ace of Swords. So Leo, you're looking at starting a brand new beginning where you want a relationship filled with truth and transparency. You want to know the truth about them. You want to see the truth. You're going to do your research this time. Whoever you were dealing with may have really done you dirty a little bit where you were doubting your own self, where you were mm, captivated by your, your own dream set, your own, your own imaginary, illusionary version of the relationship, but they didn't see it that way. So it could have been a one-sided relationship, uh, a one-sided union between them, but you went through a transformation and they now are going through this transformation as well. Here it is. It's this one. Yeah. The Nine of Swords. They're going <laughs> to... I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but your growth is going to scare the heck out of them. Your fire that's going to illuminate out in your aura. It's going to illuminate out in your energy field. It's going to scare them because you pulled back your power, baby. You pulled it back and you said, I fixed me and I will never go through that. I am going to embrace this card in every possible way, Leo. Well done. Very, very, very beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, you're going to intimidate the heck out of them. Maybe like, oh, what did I do? This is your partner. What did I do? How do I fix this? If this is them returning, you're just going to scare them because you're going to catch them off guard where they are worn out and tired. We have the Nine of Pentacles. They may have been in a relationship before, whoever you were dealing with. And now they're single, but when they see you, you're not the same. You've grown. You've grown and blossomed into a beautiful, empowered individual, okay? And that is not going to be easy for them to handle. So when we look at this situation, there's a lot of positive energy going to radiate through, and you will literally make a choice. Some of you, I do see you're going to meet somebody else along the way, okay? It might even be somebody sitting right by them, their best friend, <laughs> you know? It's like, I don't want you, but I want you. Remember, like a truck's like, so pay close attention to that. All right, we are on to the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, and hello, Sag. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me put these back in here, and I'm going to give this a quick onesie of a shuffle. I just like it better that way. All right, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And remember, I have readings on sale. I should have announced it in the beginning. 
but uh, they I have a 20 minute one. It's like 50 bucks, super cheap. You can go to my website. It's in the description box below, but that sale is ending soon. All right, Sagittarius. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups here. You have happy, fond memories of whoever this individual is. This is somebody you like to frolic and play with and somebody you really enjoyed spending time with. And you may have actually enjoyed time outdoors, but something happened that, that severed this. Their charm, their charisma, they were a perfect match for you because they too were representing the King of Wands with that fiery energy like you. So I feel the two of you were really on the same page and I think they think of you. You probably are seeing this person in your dreams. Some of you may not have even met them and you're seeing them in your dreams all over again. Like you went through this journey, never met them, and now they're back in your, your dreams. Write your dreams down and if you have a session with me, bring it in. But this is like a, a moment to recapture those happy, fond memories is what's coming over the next one dash two weeks for you. The Three of Swords, okay, there may have been another person involved with it. They may have been in a relationship, and you probably knew about it, all right? I have a feeling you would have known about this. Uh, there's always the deception card there, but even being in a relationship while they're in one, that's deception also according to our rules of the world, right? Which are changing. <laughs> so the heartbreak, I feel you really hurt them when you walked away. You hurt them, you broke their heart, and and it triggered them back into this journey. Now, for a lot of you, this really is a soul connection, a deeply, deeply rooted connection, where it doesn't make sense until one day when it does. I hope you buy my book, Micro Vibes. It's, it's down in the box below as well. I have so many things out there to help you guys get through all of this, okay, where it's affordable and it's well worth it. But whoever this person was, it has taken them a really long time to heal over their heartbreak. If that's for you, if that's for another person, and I really feel it was for you. Like you just said, I'm out of here. You grabbed your, your stuff, you grabbed your bag of clothes and said, I'm gone. And it broke them. It literally broke them. It threw them off balance, okay? And they had to go through all of this on their own. And I feel they are the ones who are feeling lonely right now. You know, the card of loneliness came out in the beginning of the reading. So they themselves are the ones who are lonely right now. And in being lonely, it, 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 it makes us see things that we can't see before, right? It makes things come through that are clear once we go through that grieving process. They've gone through it. When you guys see each other, when you connect, even in a dream state, it's going to throw you off balance and it will throw them off balance too. And I feel for you guys, Sagittarius, you're actually going to hear them. Um, they're going to reach out uh, through text or a phone call. So let's take a look at our beautiful sign of cancer. Hello, my beautiful cancers. How are you guys doing? Wow, a lot of, um, you might be really busy, like, <laughs> sending little energy vibes out, happy, joyous. Um, it could be any kind of energy vibration, whether that's low or high, but I feel you are just, <laughs> go, 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 whoever this group is. And that's when they come in. That's always when they come in, when we have focused our attention in a different direction. All right. So let's see what card comes out for you guys as we look at this scenario in your life. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Cups, and this is a lot of options, and that's what I mean. You may have a lot of opportunities, a lot of options around you where you are zip, zip, zippity doo on all over the place. And it's like, you know, I feel good. I want this. I want this. Because in this card, it really shows a lot of positive energy. Like you've already been through the journey. You've already gone through so much emotional cleansing. And I feel it was a duo effect inside of you. 
And now you're seeing the rainbows around you. You're seeing the possibility, like this Queen of Cups saying, you know, it's like really you, Cancer. It's like it embraces your zodiac sign. So it's like, I have everything. So let me keep going. And I know love is going to follow. And it is. It's going to follow. Absolutely. Let's see what's going on with whomever this person is. All right. Now, they could be any zodiac sign. I kind of like that for this overall reading, right? Because it's meant for every single person. So it's pretty cool that that came out. We have the Ace of Wands. And look there. This is a passionate new beginning. And that's the zip, zip, zippity doodah that I am talking about where you are ready to start a new beginning. But here's the thing. So are they. So the reason it's coming through so vibrant is it's both of you are feeling the shifts. Now, you may be shifting this way and they're shifting this way where it kind of feels like on the same page and then you pull away. And it feels like you're on the same page and then it pulls away. Whether this is your your current partner or this is somebody else that is out there. Now, for some of you, I feel you're literally going to meet somebody brand new. I don't even know if it's the person that you met in the past that is going to show up at this time. I feel they're going to come back in later. This is like a um, job well done. This is that... Well, I'm hearing enlightening where you're recognizing cancer that this whole journey is about you feeling full and whole. And that's when we get the right person for us, right? whether it's them or not. You got the Queen of Cups again. So you're going to pick a soul partner. You're going to pick a person who is like you. A soul mate is coming back around. So it may be somebody from the past with the card of judgment, all right? But I feel for a lot of you, this is a brand new one. This is a brand new person, and the other one will come in later. This is somebody who's very emotionally open and ready to say the words, I love you ready for commitment and to actually open up and share their feelings. And if they don't like what you're cooking, they're going to tell you the truth. They're going to say, I don't like what you're cooking. <laughs> let me do it. <laughs> All right. This time they're going to say, let me do it. This is a moment and it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay. But this is going to be a beautiful moment where I see the two of you actually looking at each other's eyes and you're going to know it was so worth the wait when you meet this person. All right. So let's take a look at our beautiful Scorpio 42. <clears throat> it does that every time. I hope you can hear me. <clears throat> it does that every single time it falls out and, um, and that really sucks. So Scorpio, welcome. I hope you guys are doing well. Oh, yeah. You have the Ten of Cups, all right? But underneath it, you also have the Eight of Cups. So you may be walking away from a situation, walking away from a situation in your home like this is your current partner. You may be thinking of leaving. For some of you, it's not even about the relationship. It's about going out and finding uh, abundance, which is also a monetary gain as well. It's, it's making sure that you have enough to make ends meet and you're happy under your home. For a lot of you, you're like, mm -mm, I'm walking away from the emotional attachment of this person because it doesn't work for you anymore. It doesn't feel right. So it's like this big, beautiful forward movement in your life. I'm right at the edge of the desk and I'm going to be moving soon. So I, I should have a new setup or my old setup back uh, very soon. We have the Hierophant. They are seeing you in a totally different light. They are watching you as you walk away, if this is your current partner. They are wondering if you will ever return and make things work, if you're gonna fall into the traditional belief system that they have. Now, some of you, this is somebody who, I feel like you were dealing with a mama's boy or girl where they were very attached to their own family where they didn't want to change their values and they didn't want to budge at all. Kind of, even though the emperor isn't here, this energy that comes through for me in these readings with the Hierophant, this is somebody who is very, um, not open to change. Okay. It's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's beyond the emperor because the emperor can be very humble and very gracious. 
there's something about this person that I feel that they weren't, um, it was like, do it my way or get, get gone, you know, that kind of thing. And you said, okay, I'll get gone. There you go. They, they did you a little dirty back there, right? You took your swords, you took your lessons and you left. And I feel that really bothered them. So they are now reevaluating this situation. They are reviewing everything, but they have people around them that are trying to tell them what to do and how to do it. Might even be, um, I hate to use the word spying, okay? Um, because I feel it's more like on social media. And if we're on social media, it's not spying. Okay, we're putting ourselves out there. That's not spying. <laughs> All right. I've never seen it that way. If you're open, then there you go. If you're private, then that's different. But whoever this person is, they are going to reconsider. But I don't feel it's going to be anytime soon. Now, some of you may be meeting somebody new along the way over this next one to two weeks where this new person is going to give you a beautiful, I, I like you, I want, to, I want to get to know you better because they see you as somebody they want to spend the rest of their life with or at least invest their time in seeing if you're that one. So it's beautiful, beautiful. All right. Now we are moving on to the sign of Scorpio. Hello, Scorpios. I mean, Pisces. Excuse me, Pisces. Hi, Pisces. <laughs> Everybody's going to get mad, and then they turn off. And like, you made a mistake. Out of here. Out of here. All right, Pisces. I have a Pisces moon. Let's take a look and see what's... Uh, I'm hearing the word I'm bored and it's kind of like not lethargic but it's like I'm bored and bored and bored like my dog he does that I'm bored and bored and bored you know he just went like oh, I just want to do something different because it's snowing again out here I'm still in New York and oh, I can't, I'm looking forward to moving it's time for you to look at your relationship sector in a whole different way whether you are in a relationship or not I'm seeing it's more about the belief systems in you and what you see that you want in a relationship. Now, I feel for a lot of Pisces, you are seeing it differently. Whoever you were dealing with, you like the very alluring, very magnetizing type of people, and you still may very well like that. However, by looking at this situation that you had gone through, particularly those of you where it was two to three years or even eight years, all right, um, and that I said in the beginning of this reading, this is a person who is going to make you turn your head, all right, whoever this is. So if you're walking away from them or even thinking about it, you're going to look back and make sure that, because this is a judgment call attached to it as well with the card of judgment, but there is something out in the future, whether that's a reconciliation with your own partner, somebody that's coming back in. And those of you who are single, this is somebody brand new coming in for you. Because you don't see things the same way anymore. It's like, I think you're gorgeous, but I'm not magnetized. I want to get to know you, and I'm interested in you, but you aren't going to pin me into this, like, I can't let go, I can't let go. You may have been with your twin flame in the past, but whoever it is, they are going to be an opposite. Opposites attract for a reason. Opposites attract to add excitement, and that's how I started the reading off by saying, boredom right you're going to meet somebody who's going to make you feel alive again it's going to make you want to do things different try new places to eat try new uh inventions cook virtually yeah okay you're going to cook whatever you're making together you know <laughs> virtually doing it different with this person but there is a very big dynamic between the two of you it doesn't mean it's not workable it doesn't at all it means that we have to allow them to be who they are and they we are who we are okay and that is the new way that you see life they are who they are and either i like them that way or i don't like them that way so let's take a look at the detail attached to this we have the high priestess so being that you are highly highly in tune with the universal energies, you are very spiritual. Some of you are absolutely in tune. You're even bordering psychic. You're like me and you can see things. 
But that doesn't mean we see it when we open up our heart. We still can get hurt just like everyone else. Because I feel that this group of you, you may have been an overgiver in the past. So this person is not only going to make your boredom go away. There may be a bit of familiarity around this person where it could seem like you have known him forever. So look twice with this hangman. Look twice and make sure they aren't covering something up and hiding it from you. Turn on your psychic ability so you know exactly, exactly who you're dealing with. So let's look at Gemini. Hello, beautiful Gemini. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see who and what this is about for you. Oh my goodness. I'm hearing the words, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. So <clears throat> that could be you needing to get out and get, uh, get out there and get with people and back into the swing of things. And for some of you, it may be a relationship, but we're going to take a look. Yeah, you're feeling a lack. A lack of attention, a lack of love, a lack of funding, a lack, 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 lack. And because the loneliness card is here, Gemini, I feel that um, this is more like I want to be involved with people again. I want a romantic relationship. You may have been through quite a bit with this other person because of the journey that you've been on, all right? And I do feel for a lot of you, they are returning and hat, a hat is involved in it. They may have wore a hat or they used to uh, really like hats, or I see a hat is involved in this group. <laughs> that could, They could have had a picture of a hat on their wall. Their street name was Hat, okay, anything like that. We have the Princess of Swords, all right? So this person, they can see you. You had a telepathic communication with this individual, and I feel you were really tapped into them. Very much Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and I feel for a lot of you it was more... Aquarius energy. Now, they're going to reach out. They're going to communicate with you. And I do feel some of you, it could be telepathic. But for most of you, no. This is somebody who's going to actually communicate in the real world. All right? They are a soul connection to you. They are coming back around to make sure on a spiritual level, on a universal level, that you are not in this frame of mind of lack and loneliness. So when they come in, you have to make sure by using discernment, if it is the truth that they're sharing with you, that they've matured in the way they speak, they've matured in the way that they speak and uh, are share with you, and honesty, that I heard the word honesty, okay? So we have the Four of Wands. Now some of you, this could be them coming in going, I want to marry you, okay? Let's just go. You're going to know when this person comes in, whoever this is, and if this is somebody brand new, your heart is going to go, wow. Because I feel, Gemini, they're, they're your match, right? They're an air sign just like you. So you're going to communicate really well. And you, it's the type of conversations where they go for hours and never get dull. And you keep going and going and you go to the store and you talk to them the whole time. You know, the people you see that are doing this and you're not supposed to be. It's like, excuse me. <laughs> it's going to be one of those type of things where you're going to have this happen. The Four of Wands also represents the Twin Flame in the tarot itself, right? It's a, one of the indicators of it. Along with the Worth Waiting For and the Judgment card, I'm going to bet that this is somebody that did put you through a ringer and triggered you into self-analyzation. Now, for those of you where this is somebody new, you're meeting somebody like that where you are going to want to be the better version of you. You may even look at holding them up in, in a pedestal type way. But for most of you, this is somebody you've already met. You've already met this individual. Um, and that doesn't mean that it's bad. It, you're going to know the truth as soon as they come around. So let's move on to our beautiful zodiac sign of Libra. And, oh, I'm looking down. I don't know why. <laughs> Hello, Libra. How are you doing? I hope you guys are well. And I do hope, give a thumbs up if you guys like this, and I'll keep doing them for you. Um, at least bi-weekly. 
You know, Libra, I feel there's this hole in your heart. I feel there's a pain in your heart. You might be going through some really challenging times right now. The loneliness could be missing somebody that you have been 2-3 or 8 years apart. One of the two scenarios, all right? It could be both groups of you. Because I see two sets of numbers, right? Two to three years, eight years. You may have known this person eight years, been in a relationship with them for two, and I feel there's a severing of ties coming in, and or it just happened, where now they're returning, and it's that moment where you need to make that final judgment. Do I want them or do I don't? You have the card of patience right here, and that could have been going on since the month of December rolling into um, or November rolling into December. I feel for some of you, this has been a really like a test of your own patience. The loneliness, the longing can make us want to jump out and grab that person and bring them in. And that is what you've been experiencing. So this in here, this is your healing phase. All right. It doesn't mean that, that they're even necessarily going to come in. But let's take a look at whoever you're dealing with. Yeah, they have the five of cups. So, you know, I feel and the eight of cups, <laughs> the eight of cups was stuck behind it. So the five of cups is that, you know, they feel guilty about not getting up and doing anything. I, I really believe that the two of you had love for each other. Truly, you have love for each other probably still. But there's something about this person. They don't take action. They don't put any effort. They might even have a, an energy vibration of being a little bit lethargic on their own. Remember, this is a general reading, so it can go both ways. There's a sense of guilt, a sense of shame attached to this person where they, they dishonored you somehow. They dishonored you. They, they broke your trust. And I'm hearing they did the worst possible thing of all time. So that may be a very narrow group of you, but you know, when we get hurt, it definitely feels that way. So let's take a look. And it takes a lot of patience to get over that. We go through that stage of longing and loneliness. I feel the two of you, are, you still have an emotional attachment. All right. The emotions haven't been severed between the two of you. And that can take time. It can so if it's that period of time, and we can mourn for a decade, we can mourn for a lifetime over somebody, long for them forever, it's up to us when we want to disconnect. It's up to us if we want to reunite. And that's what I feel is going to take place in this particular scenario, Libra. There you go. We have the Knight of Swords. It's going to fly in from out of the blue. This is information coming in. This is them returning. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual that is coming forward to say the truth. I'm sorry that I didn't take action. I'm sorry that I didn't do, um, you know, what I meant to do. And the regret that I have inside is they're going to be, oh my gosh, it's going to, it's going to break your heart. Okay. So if you're already dealing with it, you're going to, you're going to, but it's going to be real this time. Now you will know the truth. Be very patient as you are listening to them. Keep in alignment so that you know if they're telling you the truth. But this is a twin flame dynamic. This is the person, the soul connection, the soul mate, because you start off as soulmates and then you divide. When they return, that soul mate, beautiful coming together again, opportunity is there. If both people have grown and both people are willing to, you know, jump into the relationship. This is going to come out of the blues. And again, it's over the next one to two weeks. So it's going to be pretty pretty intense for a lot of you. So on to our beautiful Aquarians. Hello, Aqua Babies. And remember, on March 10th, which is tomorrow, March 10th at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we're doing Aquarius Rises. All right, we're looking at the age of Aquarius, and I do hope to see all of you there. That's why I booked it at that time, because 8 o'clock for me is late. I get up really early. So I wanted to make sure that I bring you all in. You know, Aquarius, I just feel like I got this. I got this. I got this. Like you're putting all this energy in and you're ready to go forward. And some of you might even be sitting on the edge of your chair as you're ready to take this new jump in this new relationship. 
Now, I do feel that you're going to hear things in your mind. You're going to hear them talking to you, and that'll be the judgment call, all right? You're going to rectify whatever needs to be done in your inner thoughts, and it will be clear as a bell. Okay, this isn't going to be um, in the cuckoo crazy side of us as we go through this journey where, did we really hear that? Is it real? You're going to know it. You're going to feel it, and there will be nobody who can tell you any different. This is what you wish for, all right? This is what you wish for, somebody that you can get along with. The two of you can actually go out and have a good time together, celebrate, enjoy life together. And that's the biggest thing for a lot of you guys. It's like you don't care if you're in a relationship as long as it's somebody you can enjoy life with. No more fighting, no more feuding, no more of that stuff. You're done with it. You're just done with it. And you've come too far now to stop. So let's see what they want you to know, whoever you're dealing with. This could be with your current partner or somebody brand new. Here you go. You have the Three of Cups. This is a union of a soul connection. This is the person that the two of you are going to get along. So if it's your current partner and you're in a relationship, you will be able to work through this and realign in your relationship. If this is somebody brand new, oh my gosh, it's going to be an amazing relationship. For some of you, I feel it will be the first time that you have ever been in a relationship like this. And that's why the card of worth waiting for is here, Aquas. It's going to come in from out of the blue. It's not even like you have to go searching for it. If somebody's going to knock on your door, the possibility is there. It's there if you're driving down the street and somebody's going, hey, Hey, <laughs> I'm sure some of you have had that happen where like you look in your rear rear mirror and somebody's going like this. Hi, hi, <laughs> you know, in the back seat. <laughs> you see him back there. So I feel that this is going to be somebody that if they were doing that, you would be laughing and giggling and probably pull off the side of the road. You know, not even aware that you should or shouldn't do it. You're just going to like, you're going to instantly connect with this person. Now, the beautiful part about this is you, and it's not about lonely. You might be lonely, but that's not what's going on with you, okay? You know how to be alone and not be lonely. I feel for a lot of you, whoever this person is, whether they are new or a return person, and that's why you pull over because you already know them. You feel like you've known them for your entire lifetime. There's the giddiness, that beautiful unity, Okay, unity is very big in this reading for you. Now we have the Hierophant. It may even lead to marriage. Mm -hmm. All right, it could be somebody you are married to. It may have been married to them in the past. For those of you where it is a judgment decision, you're going to be looking at this situation from a completely different angle, and so are they. Because remember, if it's a soulmate, most likely you both have been on this journey together, especially in the year of 2022, where majority of the people have been triggered into the awakening process. Not everybody has completed it. Some are in the beginning stage, some are middle and the end, but it is all about the age of Aquarius. So you guys, this is going to be all about change. It's getting ready to happen in your life. And you know what? It's what you wish for. That one relationship that you wanted is coming to you. Okay, you guys, I will see you on March 10th. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thumbs up this video. Much love.